Hello everybody, it's Kevin Kraft, aka Buzz, and this is going to be the 2020 recap show. Um, 2020 was definitely an interesting season. Um, started off with a lot of promise. I had seven rounds of golf in before COVID struck, and so, you know, it was supposed to be a big year for me. Um, a lot of tournaments on the docket and with the intention of going to the Champions Q School in the fall. Um, as soon as COVID hit, you know, everything became uncertain. And uh, as you might have expected, most of the tournaments went by the wayside. So, um, you know, it was kind of a tough year to, to, to navigate. Um, I only had four tournament rounds, didn't play well. Um, all that's on me. I mean, it, the COVID portion of it, yes, uh, definitely challenging having to stay, you know, inside and, and, and away from people as much as possible. Uh, at least until they realize that, Hey, guess what? <laughs> Golf's one of those things you can do and actually, uh, uh, enjoy and, and, and participate in. Uh, but you know, it was on me. I didn't, practice enough. I didn't play enough. Um, you know, going to the Pennsylvania State Open, uh, which I won in 2018, uh, at my favorite golf course. I mean, this is, uh, Oakmont is beyond fantastic. It's incredibly difficult. Uh, it's all the things that I love in a golf course and to go in there and be like, all right, so, you know, I'm going to take an extra day off two weeks ahead and then an extra day off a week ahead and I'll be ready to go. Yeah, no. <laughs> like, I showed up to this golf tournament so unprepared. Uh, it's actually embarrassing. I, I have embarrassed myself uh, by the way I showed up completely unprepared. It's just terrible. So, um, I think I probably ended up getting in around 30, maybe 33 rounds of golf this year. Uh, low round for the year was 67. Which isn't terrible, but isn't great either. Um, it reflects the kind of effort that I ended up putting into things. So, you know, you get out of it what you put into it. Um, and then my high round for the year was 79. And to be honest, you know, I had, I had to make a seven-footer to break 80. And, uh, you know, thankfully did that. Um, you know, not that shooting in the 80s is like, oh, so bad, right? But... Uh, you know, it's it's one of those things that I don't like to shoot in the eighties. Uh, and I don't like shooting seventy nine either. But what are you gonna do? Um, golf is hard, and uh, you you have to you have to work at it. So to me, I just don't. I didn't feel like I worked at it nearly enough this year, and that is all changing. And it changed starting at the very end of the year when I started doing the speed sticks. Um, no, I am not going Deschambeau on this whole thing. Uh, I'm too old for that. Uh, I'm too fat for that to, to tack on more pounds. It all goes right here, right? I'd, no matter what calorie I look at, it goes right to my midsection. So maybe that's just a function of being about 50 years old. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's changing. Uh, my club hit speed is coming up. My distance is coming up. I'm now about 15 yards longer than I was, um, you know, in the middle of the summer. I'm 15 yards longer than I was when I was a tour player. So that aspect of things is very, very exciting. Um, you know, as long as I'm able to hit fairways, which it certainly seems like I'm going to be able to do, um, having one to two clubs less coming into the greens is going to be a big thing. Um, short game is going to have to be the focus for 2021. Uh, my short game was not very good. And it's the one primary thing that I cannot focus on when I practice in the shop because there's just no, you know, hitting shots with a wedge into a screen. Uh, while it can give you some semblance of distance, it's not, it's not really telling you what's going on. So um, my practice habits have to go beyond just working in the studio. Uh, it's got to be going outside. So to that effect, I joined the GIM Game Improvement Membership at Dauphin Highlands. They don't have the best short game area. They have a good putting green, 
but uh, not a not a particularly uh, exciting chipping area. There's no practice bunker, so I have some challenges there. But um, you know, I have a place I can go down the road, uh, which is fine. Uh, down at uh, Royal Manchester, uh, they have a great short game facility there. So. Uh, I'll be splitting my time. When we hit balls, I'll do that at Dauphin Highlands. And when I need to work on a short game, I'll go down to Royal Manchester. Um, but the effort has to be there. And that's that was what was really, really lacking. Um, so, uh, you know, <laughs> the recaps, <laughs> recap's not the, uh, yeah, the most up thing uh, that I've done in this thing. I will maintain a positive outlook on everything. Uh, and I will work harder in 2021. I have a full slate of events scheduled, added another one uh, as long as it goes forward. Um, New England Senior Open, found that one the other day. So monitoring that for a uh, for whether it's going to go or not. That one's in uh, early to mid-May, so I now have a targeted start date. Uh, and that's important because that gives me the parameters to really work in. So we'll see what happens. Um, so far, Mother Nature's been pretty cooperative. We did have about nine inches of snow at one point, um, but the extended outlook looks like, you know, low 40s pretty much throughout. Uh, I'll take that. I can work on that. Um, playing on frozen greens because it gets down in the 20s, eh, not the best thing in the world, but uh, it's better than just sitting at home and not doing anything. So um, hopefully we'll be able to show you all that the effort is definitely going to be there. So... I'm looking forward to 2021. Um, all the new equipment's coming. I'm excited about that. Um, my order will go in with uh, for what I'm going to get for 2021 here pretty soon. Uh, it's not coming out quite yet. But uh, I will let you know when everything's here. And uh, look, hey, happy 2021. Let's make this really good, all right? Take care.